it's a movie. Today's movie day. Every day's movie day. Sundays now, Sundays might be our number one movie days. <laughs> so what movie are we doing today? You suck! Shut the fuck up! Now, none of my choices qualify as a partner for me on this trip. Who's responsible for the selections? Is it not too late to get rid of him? Would you like to hear them? Oh, sure. I think all you need are a few codecs in your system, and you'll be watching this movie in no time. Now hold still. <laughs> and now we play. <laughs> well, crap. I thought it would work for sure. Say, doesn't a far fan sound like Brian Doyle Murray? 
Damn, so much for any Brian Doyle jokes. There's also his three sons, Jeff, Shim, and Ham. Okay, what the hell? I can dig having Caucasian people in the Middle East because it's a cartoon, but why the hell is Ham just randomly black like that? That makes no sense. <laughs> Okay, does that explain why he's black in this movie? Great. Jafet, my father helped my grandfather plant all those trees. When the wind blows and rustles the leaves, I feel as though they are with me. It's not all about money. Don't you worry. We will be just fine. We will always be fine if we stay together, like we are. A family. One big family. Ra, 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 ra. What do you mean your father got into debt again? And to free a slave, no less. Silence. The time has come, my dear, for you to take charge of the family. Well, I have no doubt that you are the most capable of all the sons. The most capable? Why? My son can take charge of it just as well as he can. If it is a question of age, defect is the end. Oh, God, just shut up, all of you. It's not helping when one of you is a southern bell and another sounds like, um, someone I'm sure I've seen somewhere before. Come closer, Noah. Think of it as your own personal spotlight. Are you who I think you are? Who do you think I am? Who do you think I think you are? I think you think that I think that you think I am who you think I am. Because I would think that you'd think... Right to the point! I'm going to send a flood. Listen to what I say. You must build an ark and put your family on it until the rain stops. And an ark? All of us on our own? Not on your own. You will do this taking a pair of each existing species of animal. But all right, then. I will not let you down, my lord. Oh, huh. All right, you win, movie. That was actually funny. Now tell me, did my voice sound all right? No, no, sir, it was perfect. Okay, cut the lights. It's a wrap. Okay, now it's ruined. So as he begins chopping down the forest, that for some reason is conveniently next to their desert home, he also takes the time to buy some doves in exchange for his house. Free! We're finally free! This we have to celebrate! <laughs> Excuse me, but isn't the jungle that way? Come on, stop worrying! <laughs> about this. Oh look, it's a random scene in which God wishes he had a book as fancy as the Buddha one. Well, isn't that just... Ah! Chicken breasts! <laughs> but birds don't even have memories. <laughs> oh, and of course, this is how the doves repay their savior. Listen to this, my dear friend the Puma. <laughs> we are the messengers of the new <laughs> Honestly, guys, have you ever seen clouds like these? Ooh, or heard thunder like that? Wait a second, here comes some thunder. <laughs> this is bad comedy. Unfortunately, this results in a random chaos scene. Rule 34. For the record, this is Kyrell, the only character with some sort of intelligence, but as we'll soon see, she's just as bad as everyone else. Just relax and let go so the natural oils can do their work. I'll be back in a minute, darling. <laughs> And this big chinned fellow is named Zero. His voice and attitude sums up his character completely. For 40 days, a great opportunity to learn to love each other and multiply. Yeah! Of course, that's not what it really says. God is giving us one last great opportunity. 
he asked me to build an ark where we shall all travel with my family together with pairs of animals to accomplish the divine design. I want to go! Listen to me! If I'm not on that ark when it sets sail, I swear, Dad, I shall never forgive you! Unfortunately so. Have you heard anything about your companion? Do you know who she'll be? No, no one has told me who she is, but they've all been interviewed to pick the best one. And you're coming too, right? <gasps> but of course. I wouldn't miss this for the world. <laughs> Sing, haven't you met her? Lily! <gasps> Lily, allow me to introduce you to Prince Zero. He disturbs me ever so much. So all the animal couples come for the king's gathering, though why there are duplicates is never explained as he tells everyone how they need to band together and join Noah and his family on the Ark. But such a meeting wouldn't be complete without unnecessary interruptions. Well, I'm against it. I think this is no more than a trap to hunt all of us down. Man has always been our natural enemy. Let's not be naive. If you respond to this call, you will surely find your heads hung over a mantelpiece next winter. If this is to explain how the mythical creatures died out, I'm not very impressed. King Zebu, excuse my interrupting, but I just want to know who will be chosen to guide all the animals on such a dangerous mission. Explain to me how none of my choices qualify as a partner for me on this trip. Who's responsible for the selections? Is it not too late to get rid of him? Would you like to hear them? Newbie, big boobs, no brains. Bruma, too thin, no brains. Niebla, too hippie, too busty, and no brains. What does it matter to you? It's not like you're going to get laid right away. Mm. Oh, stop. That tickles. Mm. Oh, stop. Your Majesty... I'm sorry to distract you from him. Hey, I hadn't seen it either. I swear. Thus, Noah finishes the ark, and holy crap, that thing is huge. With 1,300 double cabins on the upper levels, the section for humans, with its large fishing platform navigating in peace towards a new world where there will be no for pain and suffering. Still, something tells me this is a bit of an overkill. And at the same time, it's like he knew his animals would be sentient. <sighs> Whatever you say, sir. Did he just flush? <laughs> What is wrong with you, Rui? Beware of Tagnino. I don't think he's sudden behind the animal's attitude is genuine. And... Hurry up! I'll miss out on all the best room! Is his brain even functioning? Now that you're going to die from drowning, I would love to tell you a few things. First of all, I always hated your efficiency and intelligence. And now for convenient flat point in five, four, three... except water. Anything else? 
else you would like to throw our way, movie? They still have to live together. The rain is the least of their worries. And speaking of which, special effects just called and they said so much rain. Special effects? Really? What, is God some sort of movie director who controls everything like in a movie studio? What kind of nonsense is that? <laughs> painful loss and uh anyway if we give each other a little time i'm still very young and also i might lose my image as king if i don't show myself in the right company are you insinuating i'm not good enough for you well um i wasn't exactly referring to being good enough it's <laughs> oh i'm sorry it was just um you were saying movie <sighs> Oh, good. Those two are still alive. I wonder what they'll contribute to this masterpiece of a mind. Oh, joy. It seems mankind provides too many conveniences for these creatures. What else is going to come our way? Oh, holy film, you. At first we were afraid. We were petrified. To think the world that we once knew was gone. And you're what's left. You! Oh, God. You know... I was kidding about the whole little Archangel the Porno thing. I don't need to see this sort of thing, especially from someone named Panty. What? Aren't you tired of having to run after your food? We won't have to do that anymore. The food will run to us. When we get to dry land, we will take the animals to a place where we can choose the ones we want. Oh god, he's turning into the Matrix! So yeah, their plan involves Zero and whatnot as... <laughs> and one of the most stimulating things about governing is uh, to find one's capability for giving. How far are you going to go with this movie? Sex? Boobs? Booze? It's way too much for this kind of movie! <laughs> Look about it, not really a kid's movies. A little fun never hurt anyone. Not everything has to be done by the rules. It's not just a pleasure trip. You should be a little worried by now. Isn't this rain telling you anything? I suppose now you'll understand that we all rely on your decisions. You are the king. The only survivor of your lineage. As far as showing concern about those I love... That's all I've done. I wouldn't mind her so much given how she actually shows concern. It's just that she goes off to the point where it comes off as bitchy and annoying. If they had toned her down a bit, like for everyone else actually, she would actually be decent. It isn't easy dealing with so many problems. Things will sort themselves out. Don't you worry. Oh, and of course, give this guy a better reason to exist outside of speeches. <laughs> And we are. We are. We are. Um, we are the grass. Whoppers. Yes. We're, we're grass whoppers. Comic relief with a purpose. God's grand design, everyone. Oh, and since Noah's family can't live off fish, apparently, one of the wives decides duck will do. for his book. Whatever God provides will be enough. I think it needs a little punch. Maybe something shorter. Work on that one. Oh, please, God. Give me one good scene involving him. Otherwise, stop cutting back to him. Gee, I wonder what Zero is up to. We'll be able to reduce prison terms for all prisoners. And investments in foreign currency must be respected. I think that... We should regulate the use of drugs so that they can be used responsibly. <laughs> See, open up. That's right. Nice and wide. Father, there's something that isn't right. What's that? We're the chosen ones. But all we ever do is work. I understand your concern, my children. But this is what God wants. And this is what we must do. Now everyone get back to work. I think it's about time we take over the rudder before this trip turns into a nightmare. All right? We barely got a minute with them. Why can't there be a balance between the human party and the animal party? So it looks like Zero is finally starting to develop properly. 
But sadly, breasts have arrived. You are so witty. Such fun. Mm. If only we could spend a little more time together. Especially at night, when I'm overcome by such a deep melancholy. Mm. I just realized something. Just who is Panty's partner anyway? Like, Dagnino has an actual partner, and yet Panty doesn't? <laughs> You can't throw me out. This is my room, too. This is a king's room, not a womanizer who doesn't realize his obligations. And you, Zero, are in no way showing that you can handle this. Oh, if only you were more likable. This scene would have been so, so good right now. These animals must go back to the hole. Consequence was lost. Oh, but just to be sure he's out of the movie for a while. Anyway, Dagnino gets what he'll need for later, just as Zero is about to tell Panty off. And of course, God continues to be book obsessive. Be careful. It must be suitable for all ages. No! You cannot talk about age suitability in a movie with sex and boobs. Ah, it hurts! <laughs> Oh, I'll get mine all right. Then maybe I'll get yours, too. You're a nobody, just a fool who never earned his crap. A king is someone who takes what he feels is right for him. Meanwhile, Noah's family finally decides to take after their father's wishes and pray. Course. When they're in trouble, they remember I exist. Okay, that was a little funny. And now for Carell's short breakdown. But we all saw him. Perhaps what we saw is not as important as what we feel. <laughs> Don't mind him. He just beat Miles Edgeworth. Now for probably the only other legitimately funny scene in this movie. Now, listen to me. You are the voice, the voice of my lineage. <laughs> with you, we began this journey, and with you, we will end it. Go. No pause, no rest. <gasps> A new world awaits us, and you will be our guide. <laughs> Clearly someone can write good humor. Why can't they utilize them better? So Kyrell and Gang free Zero. He makes amends with her with haste, just as Dagnino and Gang begin to round up everyone. <laughs> This movie just goes to get home. So they fight. Zero gets his ass handed to him, though he does get one in. But ultimately, Dagnino and Gang are defeated when they crash into an iceberg. This, of course, results in a panic. Well, it took you this long. Let's hear it then. What's happened here is not just by chance. It's the result of people without direction and without a king. We are not going to eat each other. Alone, even the strongest cannot survive. We will achieve our purpose only if we help each other and respect our differences. That is the only way that we will be saved. Agreed. And just as it seems like they're going to find land, it gags us with another joke just so that we can party! Well then, I guess we should go to bed. Tomorrow we have lots of work to do. Ah, just one more glass. So, that was El Arca, or 
rather Noah's Ark. All I can say is... What did we just see? The movie seemed like it could have been a decent satire to the whole Noah's Ark story, no, given how it takes the comedic route plus includes an animal cast, but it just ends movie. up being a sloppy Good mess of a film with annoying characters, bland humor, Don't and disturbing me, I'm imagery. Not, I'm not replacing that <laughs> I had no idea what the fuck I said. Indeed. What people would be responsible for writing this thing? Surely no normal person could have thought of a Michael Bay? of imagery like this. Michael Bay? Well, all I can say is, thank God it's over. Is there anything we learned from this? What do you say to that, sirs? Push the button, Frank. Wait, what do you say? Anything we learned from this? No, I don't want to find out. What do you say to that, sirs? Push the button, Frank. Anything else? Angel, you left the rainbow on. I'm so sorry, Lord. I'm not. Okay, we're done. Hope you guys like this game day. Hey, you guys are not leaving? Uh. Oh, yeah. Before you guys... Pause. Before you guys say anything, I... Pause. Before you guys say anything... Oh, I know I made this video in two parts. Because I wanted to. Probably because I don't care anymore. So what are we watching next? Review. So, the fuck are we watching? Okay, are you sure? There better be something good. Before later on, you will do a Berry Kill series. A big one. A huge one. Big suck it. Fuck off. Action pause. I'm just going to open this in. Eat them all from you and then show our next movie. I ranked Victorious. Well, so. Our next movie is it, apparently. For chapter, because chapter 2 is coming out in 2019, and it's almost at the end of 2019. 